other day I was um, just standing um, at the property and I, I saw this little feather and it was kind of going across the ground. I thought, oh, you know, a little feather's blowing in the wind, but then it, it blew back the other way and then it went up and then it went down and it just kind of kept going around and moving around really fast. And then I, I got down and I looked and I thought, wow, look, it looks like a little, a little itty bitty fuzzy ant that can go really, really fast. And so um, I worked really hard at trying to get a picture of it, which was, you know, chasing something, you know, this big. You know, this big chasing it around and trying to catch it or catch it on camera uh, was pretty difficult. Tiny, tiny little, uh, looked like like a little ant um, with a feather on its back. So I went home and um, took some pictures of it and went home and got on the computer and started trying to figure out what sort of ant this was and um, I found out that it it's not an ant and it's actually a wasp, a female wasp and they're flightless. The males, um, the males can fly and but the males don't sting. The, the queen, the female, she doesn't fly but she does sting and I am looking it up. They have the third most powerful sting. Um, this is called velvet ant family and there's a 2000 species of these little uh, female wasps, this, these wasps that um, they look like ants and the females don't fly. They're fuzzy and some are red. Um, this one looks like a little white feather, but they are, they have a very, uh, extremely painful uh, stinger so that said is uh, don't let one get on you and um, don't pick them up even though they're super cute